Hi guys! To see how I got this makeup look, keep watching! Today I'm going to do a red lip look. So this is the jacket that I'll be wearing. It's kind of like a darker red. And this is actually the first time, no, the second time that I pulled in a little bit of warmth um, into my wardrobe since I have grown out my natural gray hair. So there's like a little bit of gold or brown, I don't know what you would really call this color, but it's warm. And these are all the colors I used to wear. So I just paired it with a black dress and this red jacket. So I've already done my foundation and my eyebrows and I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Bronzer. I will link every single product that I'm using down below in the description box for you. Putting your bronzer underneath your neck like this creates like a shadow and I know a lot of people have been asking how do you keep your neck from being saggy? It's just heredity. Um, I do have like a little, hang on, I'll find it. Of course when I'm looking for it I can't find it. There it is. It's like a little, I have a little waddle under there. It's there you guys. And I also have a scar right here because I had spine surgery. I have three pro-disc implants in my spine and they go through the front. So this is still kind of numb. And ever since I had this surgery, my neck is kind of numb and I do notice that it's there's a little bit more sag under there. I'm not complaining at all. I'm just telling you guys like some tricks to make your neck look like it's staying up there. So I put like a lot of dark bronzer under there and then along my jawline. I get so many questions about you guys asking me if I've had any Botox or fillers or what I do. I've had nothing. I've never done Botox. I've never done fillers. I've never done anything like that. You can see clearly everything moves. <laughs> there is nothing in there. There never has been. It's just the way that my muscles work in my face. I did some research on that because I was wondering why I really don't have a lot of wrinkles around my eyes. Although I do a lot of skincare and I'm going to do an updated video for you guys. But I did some research on why some people age differently and different parts of their face. Like I've seen younger girls with these deep 11s between their eyes and I can't, I can't even make an 11 if I try, like <laughs> I can't even make it happen. It's because of the way that my muscles are in my face and the way that I use my muscles or don't use my muscles when I'm talking. I do use my eyebrows like all the time when I'm talking. But like I said, I will do an updated skincare routine for you guys very soon. Next, I'm going to use my NYX Sweet Cheeks palette. I have been loving this for fall and winter. This right here is my go-to color. And I like to bring it up on my forehead and just like pull the color through a little bit so it's not just like big bright red cheeks. Next I'm going to use my e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I am hooked on this highlighter and I get so many compliments when I wear this because it makes my skin just look 
glowy and youthful, so I always wear it. Even if I'm doing like a no makeup, no makeup makeup look, I will always put this highlighter on and it just makes my skin look glowy and healthy. And I'm just going to use the blush brush just to blend that in with nothing on it. And I'm using just a clean fluffy brush to blend all of that in. Oh, and I already did my foundation and eyebrows before I started. I will link the foundation that I used below and the products for my eyebrows. So I'm making sure that all of the foundation is off of my lips. I'm gonna do my lips first. And I'm going to play around with these red colors. First, I'm going to use Ultimate Wine. These are Revlon Colorstay, my favorite. And Nonstop Cherry. And I'm going to kind of overline my lips a little bit with the Ultimate Wine. I'm using this darker color kind of as a lip liner, which some of you guys suggested to me, and thank you so much. So what I'm doing is using darker color to line, and then I will go over that with the other color. So while this dries, I'm going to start with my eyes and I'm going to use this Picante palette from Carity. I posted a picture of this gorgeous palette on my Instagram. And if you guys are not following me, it is Beauty 101 by Lisa on Facebook and Instagram. So this is a palette. It is so beautiful, absolutely gorgeous colors. And the best thing is that this company, Carity, is 100% cruelty free. And for every palette that you buy, they donate a meal to an animal in need. I love that. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not getting paid to say that. I just love it. So not only do they have amazing makeup, but they are helping animals. So I thought that was so cool. I will link their website below. So first I'm going to start out with this color right here. And I can't see these names without my glasses, but you can tell where I'm pointing. Um, okay, so it's this one right here, bottom left. And I'm using this darker color next. I'm just focusing a little bit on the outer corner and then just bringing the brush through my crease. And I always like to go above my crease to lift my eyes. And I'm just using a clean, fluffy brush just to blend a little bit. Now I'm going to use this color called Fearless. And I'm going to apply it with my finger it's got like a little bit of a gold tone to it. And I'm blending that in just a little bit with the same brush with no more product. I'm going to do a little bit of the Fearless under my eyebrows. And I like to go into the inner corner and on the bottom just a little bit and this helps just totally brighten up your eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the non-stop cherry color. And 
Now I'm going to use my eyeliner. This is a deck of Scarlet Coco Calvare. This eyeliner is amazing. It does not come off until you want it to come off with makeup remover. And it has like a little ball in there. You can hear it. So it shakes up the eyeliner and I love the felt tip it has on there. And I'm using my Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Roller. For mascara, I'm using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise in Blackest Black. And I'm going to use my Pure Bliss Setting Spray. This is Organic Tea. It doesn't smell great or anything, but it works. And I'm going to use the Gloss. You don't have to use this, you can leave this matte. And usually I'll just use it initially when I put the lip color on and I won't even use it throughout the day because my lip stays so moisturized. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Bye.